Good morning, YouTube. CGL's New Jersey Collectibles here, and Dad and I are on our way to the flea market, but uh, this time we're going to have like a little different element to it. Uh, I'm excited to see how the process goes, but thank you guys so much for pointing out uh, some of these amazing books that are in here. Obviously, the Eternals um, 30 cent Canadian variant. That's not something I was aware of and how, um, how rare uh, that is. And then obviously we have the, the jungle action books that are, are really, really nice Black Panther books. Number six, first appearance, Killmonger. Uh, I, I knew that I did well on the um, the long box of, of Bronze Age comics. I didn't realize how well I did. But afterwards, um, my friend uh, Dolph over at Junkyard Breaks, he has a YouTube channel. You guys can go check him out. Uh, he mentioned that I really should consider getting some of these comic books graded. And he said before I get them graded, uh, he would press them for me and just give them like a little touch up uh, before submitting them in for grading. So look, two things. One, I've only had one book ever pressed before. It was by Dolph, my um, uh, X-Men 94 that was in a previous video back in December. Uh, he did a great job with that. Um, but and the, the other thing is I've never had comic books graded before. So I've never sent a, a comic book over to, get to CGC to get graded. And so we're going to do that with these four books, I, I believe. Uh, Jungle Action 5, Jungle Action 6, and the two Eternals 1s. Going to have them cleaned up, pressed, and then going to probably send them off. You know, like some of these, I'm not sure if it's worth it. Because um, they're not in spectacular condition. I mean, this this Jungle Action book's in pretty good shape. Um, I can't see these getting much lower. I mean, I'm just going to put my guess out right now. The way they stand right now, I can't see them getting lower than a 3.5. the same time, I can't really see them getting higher than maybe a 5.5 or a 6.0 maybe is a stretch. Like maybe this book can get a 6.0, but I'm not sure. Some of these would probably, probably be under, under a 6.0. Um, so I don't know if that's necessarily worth it. Like I said, I'm not too sure how the grading process works, but we're going to learn... I'm going to learn alongside you guys, for those of you that never have done this also, and those of you that have done this, uh, feel free to leave any comments down below as to what to expect and what the process is like. So we're heading over to the flea market now. It's going to be a hot day. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys when we get there. Bye-bye. Morning. What's going on? Same old, same old. How you doing? Good. How you doing? Very good. You guys have been all over the place. <laughs> I swear to God, man, I keep forgetting about Stormbull. It was dead here. It was the lowest I've ever done. Oh yeah. Oh, the the week, the same yeah. weekend. Yeah. Stormbull. Yeah. Yeah. Stormbull. And Stormbull, it was packed. It was oh my God. I, and I was there early, and it was packed. It was like an hour and a half. From here. Yeah. A little, a little less, maybe an hour I fifteen. Gotta head, I gotta head up there once. It's, it's. Uh, they have another one next month, right? Yeah, what it's a it once a month, month usually. Oh, is it once a month? Yeah, it's once a month. It's like a special thing, like it's twice a year or something like that. No, it's once a month, but they do shut down from like November till April. Oh. Okay. So it's only like half the year. All right. So. Okay, I gotta go check that out. There's an, that other one in Connecticut. The elephant. What's it called? Another big, like a. Is yeah. It a big one? My buddy wants me to go up there to see the uh, Mystic Seaport where they do uh, oh, yeah. reconstruction on the vintage vessels. But then he said close by, because him and his wife are uh, flea market, you know, they'll always stop for flea market. And he went to this thing, forgot the name of it, White Elephant or... Let me see if I can find it. So... You got the books? I want to thank Not the everybody books. for calling out the books that I thought were worthless. <laughs> there were some good ones in there, man. Really good ones. I mean, the guy, there's nothing in here that I would pay more than a buck a piece for. Yeah. 
so I guess my questions to you because I've never yeah this one I just bought a copy of this in low grade for 200 bucks mm -hmm. really yeah first Killmonger they're gonna do something with him really first Eternals first Eternals there was um yeah we'll make these nicer so it's the elephant's trunk flea market in Connecticut I've never heard of that one supposedly pretty good all right and that's an hour and a half away so they're both up there so yeah I was when, when Chris told me he's like yeah Dad, we're getting like feedback on the comments I'm like this batch really yeah there's some good ones in there because I saw like the Power Mans and stuff thinking Miss Marvel Spider the only thing I saw I saw Spider Woman number one I'm like okay that looks pretty good yeah that's a decent book um, you just missed first appearance of Mystique in there you like yeah. leapfrogged it that was a good book in the Miss Marvel run and the guy's like yeah. you know I was getting a thousand dollars a box I'm like yeah if this was X-Men or Spider-Man <laughs> I could see it but not this was uh, South Carolina yeah. South Carolina nice but um uh, so my questions I've never submitted anything to CGC before. So what should I, what should I expect? What sh is like, is there, are these worth submitting? To, do you think in, in these three definitely their, their are. grade, those are worth it? Yeah, I don't know. Other than it being an Mbaku, uh, you had, did you have the first Mbaku? No. No. What was the, what was the five I told you? I don't have my phone on. I don't know. I know one of them was the Spider Woman one, but I couldn't. You should have looked at for sure. What to expect? If you're gonna do economy, I think you're looking at like 200 days, unless you fast track them. Mm-hmm. Um, so. so the turnaround still really bad on the uh, great. We've on, never, on I've economy, never had economy. On the economy. Yeah. So it's like it's thirty dollars to submit a book. Oh, now. the the Moon Knight one. Oh yeah, definitely. And the the Ant Man. Definitely that one too. That's first Scott Lang as Ant Man. That's okay. a big book. And okay. Then, yeah, that first Moon Knight. Damn, I wish you got that like <laughs> a month ago. That book is really it's, it's flying high. But now the it, there's always a dip after the show is done. There's mm -hmm. always a dip. Right. Every show. So if you have those books, the best time to list those books if you're looking to move them is a week before the show airs. Or if you luck out and the first episode's really, really good and has everybody interested and everybody starts buying the books. But yeah. as soon as the show stops, the dip starts and then you gotta wait until there's more news or... So what was I hearing about stuff coming up? Um, well, anyway, I, I put up a batch of comics that we bought off a guy over here, John. A ton of comics. A lot of modern stuff. I said, just take it. We ended up paying like 35 cents a book. Nice. Archies and stuff. Yeah. I figured, well, they're going to sell for a dollar piece. So, the weird thing, last week I put up a batch of Married with Children comics. Is that now comics, right? Yeah. Yeah. About 10 of them. And yeah. I'm thinking they'll go for a buck a piece if anybody wants they're, them. They're new again because they just said they're going to do an animated animated show for Mary with Children with the original cast. The there you go. For 60 bucks. I didn't even know about the thing. Take much. All I'm it like, takes is once, once Key Collector just like says something, I swear he can just sell anything. So you're right. If you catch it before, if you if, like, you have an ear to yeah. what's coming and uh, yeah, a lot of them I missed. Some of them I caught, like Wonder Woman when the movie was coming out. Yeah. I, I grabbed all my old Wonder Woman's, threw them out there. And, yeah. I, you know, they and the other good. thing now about, so Wonder Woman again had a resurgence because George Perez passed away and that's his run. So. Yeah. We lost two giants. I wow. know. Yeah. It's going to be, Comic Con's going to be weird without a Neil Adams table because that's like front and center, like in the middle of the con, like him just sitting in his chair signing away. Uh, it's It's weird. Yeah. I was well, nobody was expecting that one. No, I wasn't. I want these guys to hang out forever. <laughs> I know, really. You know. Yeah, I mean, what? Stan Lee made it to ninety-six, <laughs> ninety-seven. Yeah. I mean, he was, almost, he was up there. Almost we, ninety. We had him for a while. <laughs> That's a good run yeah. if you can make that. Yeah. But so, uh, I mean, thank you so much for helping us with these. Yeah, I mean, like whatever, I said, you guys you know, have sent a lot of subscribers my way. I will. Uh, Clean these, press these. I'll will submit them for you. Um, either way, like for thirty bucks, like these are hundred dollar books. And this one, I really I haven't done my research on it, but the, the 
price variant is nice. I'm so glad. I've never I mean, seen that. I would be dumb enough to throw that in with a batch and just sell it and not even realize. Yeah. So I'm so glad everybody caught that. Yeah. Yeah, it's good when you go through something and that you get the comments yeah. enough. Yeah. 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 It I was... thought that was a couple of times I got the like the British version where it's in like pence. It's in pence. Yeah. yeah not, like Wolverine one is in pence. I wasn't yeah. sure, and I'm like, mm. yeah. Chris said, well, we're getting comments on this. This is a variant. I'm like, really? It's one of those rare variants and that you never see? Yeah. This one you might want to fast track because uh, Wakanda comes out early next year. Mm -hmm. And if you do the 200, you'll definitely miss it. Mm -hmm. If you intend on selling no, it. No, we would go fast track. We would, yeah. I mean, so this one it. you would fast track. This one, nothing's happening with Eternals. Just sit on your 200 days. And, yeah. Right. You know, unless you want them back, just to flip them. That's another thing. No, we can, go. We can take our time with them. Yeah, I'll take care of you guys then. Cleaned and pressed. Sweet. And, and you know, I mean, you, you should charge. I mean, is there? Is there I'm not charging you guys. Don't worry about it. Like I said, you guys. Sure. You know how many subscribers are like CGL sent me around? <laughs> like, I'm like, cool. That's awesome. I appreciate it. So what do we have I, to do um, for the submitting it? Because we'll we'll pay you for that. Yeah. No. I'll. Uh, so what I'll do is. Um, I'll uh, clean, because I actually have a submission, so if I can actually clean and press these this mm -hmm. weekend, I can send them along with all my other stuff. Okay. Oh, because I got, I got like six customers, I got a whole pile of books that I'm sending. Cool. Awesome. And one of them is a uh, Spider-Man 4, so it's going to have wow. expedited on the box, so it might get pushed through a little quicker because that one book will push everything else through. Cool. It's going to be disappointed when they open up the box and it's a bunch of economy, like, regulars <laughs> with, the, with the expedited walkthrough. Man, that's <laughs> nice though so yeah i like to piggyback off of him that's like a six thousand dollar book it's like a six oh yeah it, it came back purple label which means and I, I saw the graders notes and it said glue on the inside cover mm -hmm. literally literally i'm so pissed back. literally i went like this it hung up right here and i just pulled a little further and it just like opened up and i was like come on really guy it's like Restored because a restored 6.0 is like 600 bucks, like 6,600. Big difference. Wow. I told him, I said, Let me crack it, look at it, and, and if, it's, if it's good, we'll resubmit it. I was like, You gotta be kidding me. He was asking me, uh, he saw an ad for, I guess, with CGC or somebody hiring, right? For graders, I saw that. Yeah, they, they go just Florida, posted something. Though. Yeah, yeah. I was like, that's interesting. <laughs> it, I mean, yeah, they even, I saw it, they had a competition, like a grading competition. So there was like, uh, I guess everybody gets a book and they all try to grade it. That's, that's what cool. I was saying. It's really, yeah, it's kind of cool. It's a skill. It's a, it's a talent. You know, Definitely. I've been looking at comics for 30 years and I'm not a good grader. You know, I'm yeah. very rough. So when you get into, like I, I was telling friends, when you get into like the, um, like the three, five, four, five, five range there, it's like. Then they're just messes, so it's just like okay, this one just it looks better than what a two five should be like a like. That's what I do. I just yeah, I like kind the, of ballpark it. Like just not without even pulling it out, I would say this is like a five, five, right. five, five. And then, tell me then, the difference between a seven and eight, a nine and a nine point two. I couldn't. Yeah, I couldn't like tell a book it. like this, you're probably looking at a four or five. They hate staining. Um, that's one thing they always get you on, but I mean, I have to pull it out, count the pages or whatever, but I'll take care of you. So that's what awesome. happens is when I do it, I'll just either give you my login real quick and you can log in and pay it or just give me a credit card over the phone and it'll send yeah. it right to you or I'll send it to myself and then do a video on the unboxing and then I'll get it yeah, right to you. Yeah, that's awesome. Cool. For the content, man. Cool. Content. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> got to keep going. That's but if it. you want to wait, I'll wait for the the Moon Knight. You want to give me the Moon Knight and the uh, Spider Woman, or are they? You um, those? Yeah, honestly, I can probably drive back home and run them back before you leave here. Okay. So we, we, yeah, yeah we can do that All right, we'll get before we. Uh, I'll take care of those two for you too, then. Yeah. Make them pretty. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got here? Anything good? Uh, everything. Okay. Everything else is half price. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'll take care of you guys feel that, as always. That means I gotta go through all these. 
I was I pulled out a new box and it had some I don't know are you into like um like old bucks money and stuff like that like Dell stuff. Yeah, I'll bring him next time. Uh, I just uh, I looked at the clock and I was I was about to like go through a long box and I was like it's twelve forty five. I gotta wake up in literally three and a half hours. I was like I can't do this tonight. Right. So. Yeah, that's cool. I I go for the cartoon stuff. I'll go through it. All right, cool. Nice cards. I actually got a nice collection. Uh, it's in the front seat. I got uh, uh, Roll, uh, Nolan Ryan's second year. I got some Nanos, uh, Maze, Quickfax like uh, leader cards. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll show you. Yeah, yeah some good stuff. I'll give you a deal. Yeah. Um, cards? Cards, yeah. Check that. The 
back to the top. Well, there's stuff in the penny sleeves too, but. some reason people just sports analysis hating on Mac Jones yeah I love Mac Jones I don't I saw I, that too There's a <laughs> lot of guys like Mac Jones is not ready I was like you look pretty damn good to me yeah, but they're like I, I heard so many people say that he's he's reached his ceiling already it's like he's a rookie <laughs> <laughs> I like it. with no weapons I like it. yeah with no weapons now he's gonna have another big uh, wide out right uh, all the comics uh, five dollars and under is a buck Everything above it is half price. Hundred dollars. See anything you like? Yeah, he's got a great eye. <laughs> Which one? Sixty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll drop it. It's a nice car. Three, three grades. Actually, you know what? This is fifteen. Save fifty for everything. 50 for everything. Yeah. <laughs> That's all you. That's all me. Uh, I'll pass. I'll pass for right now. That's a nice car. I'll think about it. He had no business. <laughs> well, you know, I got this big collection of Nolan Ryan cards. Yeah, that one was a, a 350 for that yeah. second year card. Yeah, I think I might get it graded because a I five would. goes for 700. Right. So I, I would. figured. Thank you. Thank you. All right, um, and we will, yeah. I'll be back I'll later. Be, yeah. All right. Cool. To, to drop those other books off. Considering it, it, uh, yeah. it definitely jumps in price. It's definitely stuff. I know. Yeah. All the stuff I have is a little later in his career, yeah. but I just love the. I know. Me too. When that guy came in the. I was working at the comic book store for a friend of mine, and he rolled in with a card collection. I was like, it's nice, nice stuff. I mean, it's some condition issues. So, right. Yeah. That, um, you know, but you know, song and dance. But I, I paid a good amount. But I, I felt like there's, there's enough room in it. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah that's, that's some good stuff. Yeah, we're, we're trying to be good. I, I, even the comics. I shouldn't be getting any comics because we, uh, we're so backed up. Yeah. <laughs> Get rid of some stuff. really backed up. Well, uh, uh oh, what is this? Toys? This guy, he's got a lot of toys and stuff. Uh oh, let's go check it yeah, out. Yeah, go check him out. Thanks, Tom. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. All right. See you later. Yeah. Hershey's car, where the Hershey's car?
all the black face and all the all, all the make of fun of Hispanics and blacks for like over a hundred years. They never like never like uh, some I mean, uh, now they own now they got all these rights. They, they basically book our child's yes. Marvel and yeah. horrible Star Wars. What do you got on the uh, the Falcon? Uh, twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. Got him. I don't. I, just tell you, yeah, it's because the the Moon Knight is pretty rough. I didn't realize how faded it was. That's really nice. That's a nice one. Moon Knight is really nice. But, uh, still, it's worth getting great. Worth it. Yeah, the amount of money you have into it, mm -hmm. plus another thirty bucks, just even in mid to low grades, like a hundred dollar book. So. And the Spider Woman. Yeah, it's nice. I'll clean that up. All little dirt spots. Yeah, they'll hit you pretty well. Let's look it up. Yeah, actually, that was for the dude on the way over. Let's see what it is in like a, a five. Seventies, when I was a kid, I used to watch. I think it was on Channel Nine. They used to put the wrestling from the guard regionals, down. right? Just regionals. Yeah. But yeah. all the big stars were in the New York region. Of course, you got Andre, yeah. but you got you know Bruno San Martino. And, yeah. Who were the guys back then? Atlas, Chief J. Strongbow, Chief J. Strongbow, George the Animal Steel. I mean, we, we always had a good car. Sure. Then once it really started to take off the '80s with the uh, oh, yeah. WrestleMania, and it became you know they consolidated everything. Oh, yeah. So now I got to keep my eyes open. Yeah, I didn't realize that good. early '80s stuff is yeah. mid '80s stuff is good. I just wouldn't go with the magazines. Wrestling All Star magazine. No, I wouldn't. Like that. I, I like, wouldn't it's, it's, it's very niche. The last thing I need is more paper. Yeah. <laughs> and and action figures. But cards, I can cards, do some cards. Yeah, cards, anything, especially in high grade, if you find it in high grade. It's good to keep my eyes open. Yeah. Speaking of cards, yeah. what do you have on the Zonka? Just curious. I don't know. Not much. It's a weird card. It is a weird card. Can't even see. 40? I'll, do, I'll take 10 off. I'll grab Zonka. Right. One of my favorites. Man, he screwed up his career so bad. I mean, he got the money. Yeah. Where'd he end up? He didn't finish with the Dolphins, thank you. He did. Yep. His last year, back with the Dolphins, 79. Oh, That's he went he back retired. to the Dolphins. 
but they go? left in 74. They made it to the playoffs. They got skunked from the championship game. Would have been their fourth in a row on the crazy Raider part. And then him, Warfield, and Kick signed contracts for the World Football League. That was the, the oh, competing right. league. Right, right, right. He got a bucket load of money, but yeah. he collapsed. He didn't play that year. He lost the stats. And, he, and the interesting thing is he spends the next three years with the Giants, yeah. which he claims was his age and screw-up. Yeah. He really wanted to go back to the Dolphins, but Robbie, the owner at the time, didn't want to talk to him. He wanted to go through Shula. Shula would have brought him back. Yeah. He ends up with the Giants. They lost more games than they won in those three years. Yeah, the Dolphins, those four years, don't make the playoffs. He finally goes back in 79, makes a deal with Shula for a one-year contract, and they make the playoffs that year. It's a great year. But, man. What was their back when it wasn't Sunday? They had guys. Uh, Harris, right? No, he was gone too. They had like Tell Williams and uh, who was the other guy with the old legs? Pretty good. But they didn't have a running game. I mean, they really just lacked it. When he went back, it, it's that piece that Shula needed for the offense to work. You know, lead blocking, short yard, and all that stuff. But you need thunder and lightning. You need, you a, need a little guy, thunder and lightning. And big dude. But uh, he wasted those four prime years. Yeah, that sucks. All right. Go do another Chris's. lap. <laughs> All right. Thank, Thank lap. you. Yeah, we'll see you. Later. See you next week. I'll uh, text you and let you know if it's what I'll do, what's worth it. Like, I won't bring Thanks. anything that shouldn't be. Yeah, we'll, we'll okay. take your insight. All right. Thank you. All right, guys, so back from a uh, relatively short trip to the flea market, uh, even though we went twice, we uh, we went to the flea market, dropped some comic books off for Dolph, um, then went back to go grab a couple more, and walked around the, the flea market twice. Not a lot going on, not a lot of stuff to look at, uh, not a lot of things I was even interested in buying remotely, so it was just one of those weeks where you know, I mean, we, we, last couple times we've gone, we found some really cool stuff, and this week was just kind of a stale week as far as everything's concerned. Uh, a couple new vendors. There's one guy that we brought bought the uh, the Star Wars uh, model kit from. He was a new guy, bringing in some new stuff. But guys like that really don't last. He, he, he might have been, he's probably just going to be like a one-and-done kind of guy. Uh, we'll either see him again, pull up with kind of the leftovers and maybe sprinkling some new items but that was like his first time there I think so I don't think we're gonna see uh, too much new stuff from him in the future or at least in the near future but um did come away with some stuff came away with a Larry Zonka rookie card another one of my favorite football players this one's in pretty nice condition uh, it's not really scraped up or anything it's not uh, the, the edges aren't perfect but the card is from like what year uh, doesn't say it's either 69 or 70 so this this is an this is a pretty old card and uh it's still in, in pretty good condition uh, i guess we'll try to show off the model kit here as best i can let's see if i can grab it this we might just have to move the camera a little bit so this guy had a bunch of stuff, a bunch of toys uh, that were just kind of thrown in boxes. And, um, you know, a lot of the stuff wasn't really for me. A lot of it was kind of like 90s junk and and uh, early 2000s stuff. And, uh, you know, I there was a time in my life when I really did uh, like collecting stuff like that. But now I don't, I don't really collect so much because I really bought a lot of the stuff that I, I do enjoy. And, um, you know, I, I don't really, uh, I don't go out looking for those kind of toys anymore. I'm looking for more of the higher end stuff. But um, this kit uh, is 1979, so this is pretty vintage. I didn't realize that when, I, when we were looking at it, but um, it is a vintage kit. It looked, I, I obviously we didn't check to see if it was complete, but it looked complete. Uh, it looked like it was unbuilt. Let me just throw everything around here. I mean, it looks unbuilt. The instructions are there. It looks like these plastic packs have never been opened. And all the stuff is intact, so. We got it for 20 bucks. I don't know what this is worth. I never, I'm only just getting into model kits recently and I never bought this Star Wars kit before. So we will see. Um, but I think for $20, if this is, you know, this is authentic vintage 70s, uh, I think that's a really good price. So 
curious to see how I did on that. And then we just got a a short stack of comic books. Go through that. And I'll just talk about, because um, I guess the bulk of this video when I end up editing it, it's going to be mostly uh, Dolph talking and, and just hearing the, the process for CGC. Um, and by the way, we paid $15 for this lot of comic books. Um, so yeah, I didn't know what to expect. So Dolph had texted me on the side afterwards, uh, after I posted my last video saying, you know, hey, you, you got some really good books there. You, you know, you did pretty well. Uh, certainly better than I was, than I thought we did. So we went ahead uh, and he said, he suggested you should really consider getting these graded. So I'm thinking to myself two things. One, I want to get them graded, um, for the investment aspect, for the for the flippability factor, just to increase the value of the, the actual comic. And I also wanted to get it graded for the, the YouTube channel content for you guys. Um, so and, and for myself. So I guess there's three reasons. One, I never I've never done anything like this before. I never went through this process. And um, and two, uh, I want you guys to be able to, to see this firsthand as well. Um, I know uh, like comic book unboxing videos like um, uh, CGC grade reveals and everything like that. that that's pretty popular on YouTube. I watch that from time to time. So I thought, you know, I, I could do this myself. And so, you know, I didn't know what to expect. I, I thought we were going to give them to him and he was going to press them and then we were going to get them back and we had to send them. But he was nice enough to say, no, I'll just, I'm sending them with, I'll send these with a bunch of other ones that I have. You guys just pay your, your share. And um, he's going to press them, clean them, and uh, send them underway. So... Yeah, I mean, I I think we gave him some pretty good books to to go ahead and and send off. Um, I'm just looking at these for the first time. A lot of these Dad bought, and I, I didn't see what he actually got. Some of these are pretty cool. Not nothing super spectacular. The highlight of the trip was really just uh, you know send, officially sending my st stuff uh, with Dolph to go uh, to go get graded. So I hope those to come back. At a reasonable time, we we were I was told like expect like 200 days or something like that. So you know it'll be a while before we see some of those. The uh, the Killmonger book, uh, Jungle Action Six. I'm get I think he's going to go ahead and try to get that a little faster. Um, I'm I'm just curious. I'm I'm si I'm gonna sit back and just kind of let it happen. Uh, like I said, I never done anything like this before. So interested to see what what comes of it. Uh, you guys heard my pre-predictions. Um, I, I thought that the books are kind of mid-grade at best. Um, what did I, I say? I think I said no higher than like a 5.5 for some of them. Um, except we did send the X-Men book. So we came home, uh, grabbed a couple more books and I wanted to send the X-Men, uh, 99 over the, the, uh, first appearance Black Tom issue that we bought at a, at a show a while back. I wanted to send that because I think it's a really high grade. It, it could possibly come back 8.5 or higher. So I wanted to send that anyway just to uh, just to see what that comes back as. But uh, the books that were in the previous video, I, I wouldn't say that there was anything super high grade or high quality there. But they are nice books. They are good key issue books to have. So getting them graded will definitely um, be worth it, especially considering the, the amount that we have into the books. Um, is not a lot <laughs> it's about a dollar a book um yeah i think i think that'll be a, a a good a good deal and i and i thank Dolph for uh extending the offer out to uh press and clean the books and try to get as much out of them as he can um that'll be super cool so that's kind of all i have unfortunately there's nothing not much more to show i <laughs> believe me i was looking we went we went to the fleet we walked around twice looking for things i was like i gotta find something else but other than the first two stands that we went to, there was there was really nothing. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, oh, let me say before I end this video that I just put out a post on my community poll, um, on my community page, that I'm kind of on the fence about. Well, not on the. I was on the fence. It's official now. I'm going to start a a movie reaction channel and uh, see what comes of that. Only because. I'd be at work all the time and we had a game where people would say movies and I would just say no to all the ones that I never saw before. And I would just amaze people with, with movies I'd never seen before. 
the Lord of the Rings movies, the Harry Potter movies, the Batman movies. I've never seen a Batman movie. I've never seen a Batman, Dark Knight, Joker. I've never seen one before. Uh, a Godfather movie. I get a lot of crap for that around my house being Italian. I've never seen The Godfather. Um, so many movies. Uh, I, I used to work at a, I used to work at a golf store. I never saw Happy Gilmore before. So uh, there were so many movies that we would always list. The game used to be how how disappointed could I make my coworkers with with my with my movie knowledge. And to be fair, I watch a lot of movies that not a lot of other people watch. Like I watch a lot of the older black and white stuff and a lot of the classics and some of the B movies, which you know they're not very popular and because they're not really exactly you know up to the the production of, of the the bigger movies like like Joker that's a movie that I really want to see because I know I'm gonna like it because everybody said it's really dark and it's really like based on society and it's and, and it's really really a, a deep thinking movie like I know I'm gonna like it but I just never got around to watching it so um, there are some Marvel movies that I never seen before Guardians of the Galaxy 2 I never saw that one um, uh, Ant-Man, Wasp, and the first Ant-Man. i never seen any of the Ant-Man movies. Um, so there are just a lot of movies that I've never seen before. I, I do want to react to some movies that I have seen. It's like, I want to put Star Wars on the channel just so I can kind of give my insight as a experienced uh, Star Wars viewer um, the way I, I would react to that movie and the things that I see and pick up. It, I haven't done anything yet. I haven't done any work on it yet. I just ordered some, some lighting equipment just to make everything look a little more presentable. I still don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to figure it out. And um, I would welcome everybody to, to come and join along for the ride. Um, I'll take requests. Uh, I'll see how that goes. I don't know if I'm going to get like a thousand movie requests or it'll be a struggle to get requests and I'll just start picking my own movies. But um, whatever the case is, uh, I, think it would, I think it'll be fun if any of you guys want to support it. I'm going to name the, the channel CGL Movie Reactions. I'm going to keep it the same as, as this with the CG. CGL my initials and uh, we'll do like movie reactions or, or reacts to movies or something like that and uh, I'll let you guys know when that's in full in full swing and when that's up and running and uh, hopefully you guys come over and support me it would mean a lot I mean it's just like this channel for me uh, you know this this channel I, I I do about one video a week because you know I can only go to one flea market a week usually and I can only get to a show a week usually sometimes I can do both sometimes I can do the flea market and the show um, so, but a lot of times there's no trade shows around. Like right now, I'm kind of waiting for some uh, terrific con in Connecticut. That's going to happen in July. Um, but that's that's in July, so that's like a month and a half away. So um, waiting for a lot of shows to come around, just kind of building up a little cash pile at the moment, and so I can do some big spending later on. But I think with the movie reaction channel, you know, I can do maybe one or two a week. So that would be you know kind of double the content and. Uh, be double the work on my end but I, I'm certainly willing to do it if people are willing to sit down and watch and, and participate and and get enjoyment out of it I guess that's the ultimate goal so with that being said I'm gonna wrap this one up um, please keep keep uh, your notifications on for uh, future updates on my uh, movie reaction channel and um, yeah, we got the CG. Uh, we got the uh, comic books sent off to CGC. I'm sure Dolph will be doing that at some point in the the coming weeks, and then maybe by by Christmas we'll get them back. So hopefully, maybe not even actually 200 days. Maybe we might not even make it. It might come in past Christmas. But we'll see. We will see, and then um, that'll be some good good stuff to show off. I I can't wait because you know Dad and I we don't own any CGC books, and and I would rather. I would rather do it this way, you know, it's, it's kind of fun, like, sending a book off rather than buying one that's already CGC graded. It, it's fun. Like, that. that's cool. I, I, I'm definitely feeling the, the excitement of it. So, with that being said, I'll wrap this one up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. And um, please feel free to leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think some of those comics will come back um, grade-wise. Uh, let me know if, of any shows or anything that's coming up in kind of the New Jersey, New York, uh, Pennsylvania area. I'm looking for something to do, and uh, I'll check back with you guys next week. See ya.